Ah, hey, fresh coffee. Welcome back to Built Fixed. On this episode, I want to talk about job site table saws, like this one here. Mine happens to be a DeWalt. If you're still working down on the ground or floor with your job site table saw, there is a better way. And I want to show you how with your own job site table saw stand without going to the store and spending lots of money. In this video, I will go through and give some basic measured drawings to show how you can assemble your own box for your table saw. The box consists of just a few pieces of plywood and a few miters to keep it stiff. I chose to create a dado in the back to accept <clears throat> the pieces here and I wanted my stand to also double as a storage container so the way my stand works is the saw can go down inside the box when not in use it helps if you go the right way down inside when not in use and when in use you take it out and flip the box over and add the legs. The beauty of the box is it keeps the saw, saw safe when in your van or truck. You could even add some cutouts here for handholds to make it easier to carry it around or add a set of wheels. Now we'll demonstrate how quick and easy it is to assemble the legs. There's just a single uh, bolt. I made it some homemade star knobs that passes through. You have a dowel to pin it and I've even lettered which way they go in case any are different. But it just simply presses on screws on. So just like that, you now have a table saw that's up at your standard work height. Here's the top of the box. I made uh, some recessed areas for the feet to sit down in so it wouldn't slide off. And then the back feet that are more squared off, just cut out some triangles here. Well, with your saw up on the stand, now it's time to add the rip fence. and you're ready to cut. Hey, I really hope this uh, idea of mine helps you with your own job site stand for your table saw. It makes cutting so much easier, safer, and it's a lot of fun to make, to be honest. Not to mention, scrap wood is cheap compared to going to the box store and buying a manufactured stand for your saw. The basic stand is a box. 
Start off first by sawing up some three quarter inch plywood to about 10 and a half inches wide. Two of the pieces should measure in length 23 and three quarters, and the other two should measure 24 and a quarter. With your pieces cut, now proceed to cut a dado. This dado should be the thickness of your ply. My ply was three quarters of an inch, so my dado is three quarters of an inch. The dado has been spaced down about five eighths of an inch. Next, you'll want to assemble your box. In my situation here, I just used nails and glue with a butt joint. Next, you'll want to cut your stock material for your legs. The legs are nothing more than strips of three inch wide plywood. The design of these legs incorporates two pieces of plywood, a long piece and a short piece. The angles are all 30 degrees. The overall length of your finished leg should measure about 21 and a half inches long. Next, you'll want to cut some additional pieces that are three inches wide to use as thickener blocks for the inside. Now, these blocks just give a bigger shoulder for your dowel pins to sit on. If you don't have access to blind nuts, but have hex nuts on hand, simply take your chisel and chisel out a little recess on the piece of wood here on the inside for your nut to sit down inside of, and then sandwich it all together. That way, your nut is always captive between the two pieces of wood here. Last, you'll want to make sure your saw will not fall off the stand. For that, take some thin stock of material, in this case is about a quarter inch stock, and cut out some holes for the feet and some triangular, triangular sections here for the back legs. The front feet here, they measure about 14 and a half inches on center. Uh, the hole is about one and a half inches in diameter. On the back, you'll cut out some triangular pieces here out of the quarter inch stock. They're spaced about 16 and a half inches from edge to edge. From the front of the box, measuring back to this edge here, you get about 21 and 5 eighths. These items here are just glued down. If you have access to star knobs, it make a much nicer table, but if not, take some plywood and cut out your own star knobs. I hope you've enjoyed this project, and I also hope it makes your table saw much safer and more enjoyable to use. Until next time, be safe, and I'll see you on the next one.